I was initially um, interested in both music and physics and I wanted some sort of compromise in the middle. Um, so Southampton popped up on a UCAS search of things that I might be interested in. So I came here for an open day and the staff here really inspired me. They taught give us a tour around the facilities which are brilliant but they also did a, a short workshop teaching us little things about acoustics. The staff at ISVR were wonderful and it, I, I got a lot out of my degree. When I come to do work now at Dyson there's so many fundamental skills that I learned that actually are really applicable and it's nice to look back with fond memories of the little anecdotes and things that the lecture was taught us with. Um, yeah it, it's it's wonderful. So for my group design project, um, I worked with the University Technology Centre for Rolls-Royce um, at the ISVR. Um, and during that work, um, we investigated shielding from um, what's known as asylum aircraft. Um, so, uh, yeah, it was quite an in-depth project, but it was very fun. We got to um, use the um, anechoic chambers at the um, ISVR. Um, which not many people get to do. We had it for a full week um, in the full and coat chamber, so it was very nice to be able to use those facilities. I'm currently a noise and vibration engineer at Dyson, and um, my day-to-day -day roles include um, problem solving mainly, so people come to me with problems about a product, and I also support product development. So you could have a particular product that's got a certain noise issue with it, and then I then have to go on and help the design team to then solve that problem and bring a product to market which actually sounds good and people want to use. Probably the skills that I learned in um, computing, so we use MATLAB every day, we use um, uh, different techniques, so a lot do quite a lot of mathy things, but a lot of practical stuff as well. So we did, um, for my group design project, we actually manufactured a plane and so the skills that I'd learned from that. Um, they're very applicable to what we do at Dyson, that we do a lot of 3D printing and rapid prototyping. And it's nice that we can tie all of that practical work that we did here at the university in with my job role now, which is not just a technical role, it's also a very practical role. Even if they've just got an interest in, in maths and music, like considering taking physics as a, as a, a further option to be, open up the world of engineering to them. That's, yeah, I'm, I mainly got interested in acoustics because I was interested in concert hall design because I play the clarinet and I enjoyed performing and I wanted to know more about what, why a concert hall sounds like it does and how factors due to the concert hall affect people who, who are listening. But it's, it's good to get Acoustics name out there because it's a very interesting course and, and not a lot of people know about it.